All right, I'm going to go over a little bit more about the Cami that we were working on yesterday. It's a program that can help you do some computer art. Let's go to classroom and we'll, we'll look at it. So go to your classwork. When you see this stop sign, it says in-class project. That means when you're in school, it is something you're going to be working on in class. If it doesn't, if it's not under this in-class project, then, they're pro then they are Chromebook assignments. So I see there's bell ringers. You see there's some um, color theory. All right. So this one here is the one that I'm going to click on. All right. You can see it's a big flower. And you're going to... I'm sorry, I got to move my screen over so you can see. Sorry about that. See where it says um, open in Cami? Click on that. If you weren't here yesterday when I was talking about that, you're going to have to answer some, um, go through some of the stuff. Sorry, I got to move it back over. You're going to have to go through some of the things to authorize it. Just follow the steps when it, um, you'll hit um, the, you'll have it uh, like a trace of student teacher, you know, click the student and then click finish. You do it once and you don't have to do it again. All right. All right. So once you're in Cami, I need you to come over here and click drawing. When you click drawing, even though it's called drawing, you've got to think of this number here as how thick a paintbrush is. So like if you're doing something really small, you're going to want a really small paintbrush so you can get details. If you have a big area, you know, like a sky you want to paint, you're going to use a big paintbrush. So um, this project here means it's kind of big, right? You come over here, you click this, and you're going to see these are all the different sizes of types of heads of a paintbrush that you can choose. 12 being the, the largest, fluffiest brush compared to this um, 0.1 really detailed small brush. So for this project here, I'm going to pick like an 8. All right, so we're at number 8. The mood paintings, if you did the project that was due today, there was four paintings. It was a painting all done in yellow, all done in green, all done in blue, and all done in purple. And, and I, they're monochromatic paintings, meaning that you use one color, and by using shades of white and black, you paint the whole thing with the, just those shades. And depending on the color you use, it just kind of makes a mood for, you know, and everybody feels different about different colors. So it doesn't mean just because you like the color, you know, purple, it makes you feel relaxed. Other people might see purple and makes them anxious. It's a mood painting for you. All right, so this flower is a trial of a mood painting for you. So we picked our paintbrush. I picked an eight, pick whatever you want. And we're going to come down here with it's called transparency. And that means how much you can see through the color. And we're going to talk about that later. But make sure on this one here that your, um, that your blue button is pulled all the way up so you have the darkest color that you want. Over here, you can only have nine colors on your palette, on this palette. However, when you click on that palette, you can pick any colors you want and get rid of colors. So I'm going to make my mood painting in shades of purple. But let's say I want to get rid of this yellow. Let's come down here and get some more purple. So you just scroll down. You just scroll down and find your purples. Okay, I'm just kind of look on. I like these neon colors. You know, so let's say I get rid of red. That's not a shade of purple. So let's say I want to take, get rid of this color for, let's try that one. All right, so you can see I got rid of the red and put in another shade of purple because I want a mood painting of purple. But, you know, that's good. I got, oh, I got one, two, three, four, five different shades of purple. I'm going to start with that so we can get going. So hit save. And now when you come over here and look at your, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. So now when you come over here and look at your colors, you can see those are the colors I picked for purple. There's one, two, three, four, five. So let's say I'm going to start with that color. Oops. Those might have been the same two colors. That's why they both have the red ring around them. If you have the red ring around the color, then you know that's the color you're using. If I want to use purple and I have a red ring around the yellow, when I start painting and I want it to be purple, it's going to be yellow. Problem? Nope. Come over here, hit the eraser, hit that, and it's gone. No problem. So 
So come back over here and hit the drawing, because now my drawing, because I'm on the eraser one. So now I come back over here, hit my drawing one, come to the purple one I want to use, and start coloring it. So you just kind of go through there, and being, I don't want to waste a lot of your time, I'm going to get a bigger brush so I can color this up quicker. As you can see, it goes, I got a line. Once again, it doesn't matter. This is just a practice, um, kind of learning how to make a mood painting. All right. Mm, that's good. That's pretty good. All right. But let's talk about the transparencies for a minute. Okay. So if you let's go back up to my colors. Let's go with this dark purple. This dark purple, if I just go around and put some dots around on it, I'm just clicking because it's such a big paintbrush, when I do that, it makes a big dot. If I go back over here and go to a smaller one, when I do that, I will get smaller dots. Once again, I'm still creating a mood painting because I'm still using purple, all right? But what if I stick with that, that purple, but come over to transparency? Well, let's say I want to go down, hmm, it's about like that. Beans, I'm using a darker shade of purple than the main part of my petal here. I can put a design on top of that by coloring on top of it, like so. Just click down, and you can still see the dark bubble. Oh, I gotta go back to get a bigger brush, sorry. So go back up here and get a bigger brush. Go to a 10. If I come back here and color on top of it, I, you still can see my darker purples, even though I'm using the same shade of purple, it's a different value. It's a, it's a lighter shade of the same value, so of that dark purple. It's, as you can see, it's that same purple I used to put those dots on, but because I made it more transparent, more see-through, you can see the purple underneath it. Now I'm covering up the lighter shade of purple because my the value is a little different, right? So it's changing it up a little bit to a different color. So that's how you can play around with, oops, that's how you can play around with, we got new um, laptops, so, um, they're touch screen, so have to give me a little time to figure this some of this stuff out, but I got a cough, hold on. <coughs> All right, so that's how that is used. But now let's say I want to put another shade of purple on. Mm, let's go with that one. If I try to use that color on top of it, once again, I still, you can't see a lot underneath it. So it's, it's not a transparent color. But if I come over here and make it a little more transparent, let's try that. Now you can see underneath it more. All right. So please just play around with it. Um, this is worth points, don't get me wrong, but this is more points of experimenting with it. As you see, as I'm coloring on top of it, I'm changing up some of the stuff that I did. But just kind of play around with it so you can go and get to used to doing this. My whole thing is going to be purple. Oh, wait a minute. If you make a mistake, the eraser, it can be a little tricky. So be careful about that. All right. As you can see, even though I just clicked one click, it erased everything, it erased a lot, all right? So you gotta be kinda careful where you wanna go with it. So now I just have my purples left, my purple dots, which is fine, it's purple. That was my mood painting. I could leave those dots on it if I want to, all right? So please try to have fun with it. Please do not, do not stress out about this. Just do the best you can, and then at the top of the screen, it's going to say um, return. Hit that and send it to me, all right? Just just do the best you can, all right? We're, we're all just trying on this, all right? Good luck. Hopefully, I see you Monday at school.